certainly the most important fight on the preliminary portion of the card. And to further break down this fight, it is our man, Robin Black. Thanks, guys. In the black eye, I hope to illuminate some of the things at play in an upcoming cool mixed martial arts encounter in hopes of offering a different perspective with which to enjoy the action. Tonight, yeah, let's look at this killer undercard feature bout between two elite Brazilian flyweights, Wilson Hayes and Jussie Formiga. These two Brazilian jiu-jitsu black belts match up beautifully, not only in skill level, but even more interestingly in their philosophic approach Approach. Both these men have the same preferred route to victory. In fighting, there's a hierarchy of dominance when it comes to positions. These two men have the classic jiu-jitsu game of constantly trying to push to the king's throne of positional dominance, the back mount. Hit me with the viz. Yeah, I love it. Wilson Hayes, a multiple time world jiu-jitsu champion, his ground game is phenomenal, and there's a particular approach he likes, and it really is the same approach as Formiga likes. Both of these guys measure up so, so well, it's gonna be fascinating. They love the same position. They love the most dominant position in all of MMA, all of Jiu Jitsu. You see there's dominated neutral and dominating positions. The most dominant is the top back mount. You get to that back mount and you can dominate your opponent. Both men look to do it, both men love to do it, both men are good there. Why is the back so dominant? Well, there's a fairly obvious couple of reasons. One, when you look at it, you see Hayes right here dominating the back. He can attack you and you're faced away from him. He can attack your neck, he can threaten, and look at the position. This is the world's most dangerous backpack here as he is perfectly placed in the middle of your back. He can strike you, he can threaten you, and he can try to set you up. And you see Formiga here as well, whether it's on the feet or on the ground, the back is the dominant position. It's what you're seeking. Same thing here, notice Formiga, he's able to control. And you see Jorgensen, he's got that look like, damn, I'm in the back mount again. Controlled from there, and it is the most dominant. The back mount position, both men good at it, both men good at getting it, and both men want it. So we have two men who fight with the classic tried and true approach of progressing through positions of increasing dominance until they reach the kingpin position, the back mount. And from there, they work to finish the fight. But rather than the standard progression of takedown to guard, to half guard, to side control, to mount, to back, both men have developed specialized games built around technical shortcuts to acquire the sovereignty of back control. As much as these two men are alike in the broad strokes of prioritizing the back mount, they could not be more different in how they acquire the position, how they keep it, and what they do with it. Hit me with the viz. Up first, Wilson Hayes. Yeah, he wants the back. Yeah, he wants to dominate you from there. But how does he get it? Well, he's got a ton of different takedowns, and he's got shortcuts and roots. Look here from the body lock. He'll step across for the throw, trip combo, immediately go to the mount like butter. The mount pressure forces you to the back. That is a more traditional approach. Sure, he skipped the guard and side control, went to the mount, but the mount pressure gets him to the back but he has so many other shortcuts as well. Look right here, that is that perfect danger backpack. And he can hurt you, he can submit you, and he can stop you from there. Right here, that cradle takedown, two side. Watch right here. He controls the leg, he will squash that left underhook with his hips and pressure all the way around the world to the back. That is absolutely beautiful. From takedown to back, and he does it repeatedly. And if you stop him, just take you down again and go right back to the back. Same takedown, different angle. Take a look. Cradle takedown straight to side. Yeah, you can see him control that leg to get to the back. But watch this. Another toy he loves to play with, the lace. Right here, he will lace the foot behind your post leg, pressure that leg, give him complete control from that angle. Loves to do it. You get out, he will take you down again. No problem. Rinse and repeat. Wilson Hayes, many different takedowns. Off the double, watch this. This is beautiful, same thing. Now the bottom leg, controlling the leg. If you can't stand up, you can't get up. And watch all the way around one more time. From the takedown straight to the back, so many different routes. The inside trip, pressure, and look how quick that is. This man's a specialist. He will get to the back and he can skip all the steps and he can win just with this approach. 
dominant there, does it so beautifully. Oh yeah. There we see the classic mastery of Wilson Hayes, who has created his own unique flow chart of steps to access his opponent's back. Formiga is equally as formidable at gaining access to this dominant control position, but he has written his own roadmap to reach his ultimate goal of positional dominance. Hit me with the viz. Oh yeah, same plan, slightly different approach. Yeah, this guy's relaxed, he's comfortable, and he loves to get there off the body lock. Look at this takedown, grinds it down. That's a good wrestler, this time to half guard so he can progress from there. But so often, he'll get right to the back with that body lock. Look, right behind the wrestler. And the wrestler does, Makovsky such a great job here. Looking to take the back with the right hook. Makovsky squashes down elbow to thigh and tries to drop him off the front. What does he do? Connects the lower body and upper body with his torso, with his core, like straightening out to enter when you dive from a high board. That weight will carry Makovsky down and he will take the back. Makovsky again is outstanding. Look at him explode out and he stays with it, readjusts all the way up onto the back. And this is a top flyweight he's doing against and even threatens the knee bar. Then can control from so many spots. There he's threatening an arm bar right there. Uses it to regain and get to the body triangle. This is a favorite of Formiga and he is devastating with the body triangle for control and for damage. And watch how he sets it up here against Scott Jorgensen. Gets to the back and he will apply both hooks. Watch the right hook. The right hook is in there, but he doesn't want it. The placement on the thigh, he will press down with the foot that will open the root to the body triangle. Oh, that is so beautiful. Look how he does it and again, laces in behind, straightens the leg out to flatten the hip to prevent Jorgensen from turning, but the kid explodes in. So he goes all the way belly down and tries to flatten him out, tries to damage him. And when these guys get your back, it's only a matter of time. They can choke you, they can neck crank you, or they can neck crank choke you, but they will finish you. And they are two of the best in the world at it. Formiga is a badass when he gets your back. Cannot wait. So there we have it, Hayes and Formiga. Both are masters of getting to the definitively dominant position of the back mount. But their games are as unique as their fingerprints. Will their offensive brilliance in these areas raise their defensive quotients to the point that they will stalemate each other? Or will one of them find a way to beat the other at their own game? Let's enjoy this incredible fight and find out. <laughs>